Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be comparing some of Mattel's Lost World figures and seeing how well they stand up to each other. Now personally, I'm just gonna say this right off the bat, the Legacy Collection, my Menchie source, is the best Lost World figure to come out in the lineup so far. It is fantastic and it blows the rest of the designs and colorations out of the water. Um, it definitely fits in as the most movie accurate and I love the sculpt and the patterns on it. Very, very fitting. Um, some of the other figures such as the Stegosaurus kind of fall short of being screen accurate, let alone have a uh, coloration that matches that of the one in the movie. Um, and some of the sculpts such as the Paris Ralphus have short tails, etc. Um, but they look fantastic next to the Mementisaurus. Um, they definitely are some of the best figures for photography with each other. Um, the Paris Ralphus and the Pachycephalosaurus from Hammond Collection. Um, the Rex I have right here is the uh, Dino Rivals one from 2019. I've yet to get the uh, Bull T-Rex from the latest uh, vehicle pack, but from what I've seen and heard, the paint job is horrendous and the sculpt is lackluster. Um, so this one definitely stands as probably our best Lost World Rex um, so far. And then you can see the uh, little Stegosaurus here is uh, probably our close second with the Para as in terms of uh, design and sculpt being movie accurate and looking nice with each other. Same with the Camp Cretaceous Raptors. Um, these are fantastic. They look really great, especially the ones with the darker stripings on them um, in comparison to the original that we got back in 2018 and the latest um, Legacy Raptor. Uh, I think people call it the Beer Belly Raptor because it's got such a weird kind of posture. I have it kind of downwards, but yeah, the colorations are pretty bad. Um, no stripes on the neck, no stripes on the tail, but, and some weird red too going on. Um, and then we got the Juvenile Paris Rolophus with a kind of um, brown spotty coloration, which actually does match the um, Mymenchi source quite well for scenes such as the uh, chase on the game trail, where it has that kind of earthy tone that really fits in with the whole vibe. Um, our latest Pachycephalosaurus from the main lineup of Legacy Collection is pretty weird in terms of coloration. Um, definitely plasticky and very bright. Doesn't look too good with the Mymenchi. Uh, the browns on the body actually do kind of work, but the gold on the chest and the blues aren't um, as good as what we got from the original lineup, uh, 2018 Pachycephalosaurus and the new Hammond Collection one. Those look really nice with the Mymenchisaurus. Um, I'd say the Hammond Collection one looks best, but that is uh, because it is not as yellow as the, uh, the original. Um, the Young Rex is also kind of bright. Um, I'm excited to get the Hammond Collection one to compare it because I think that one looks spectacular. Of course, the human characters and the vehicle looks really nice. Um, those definitely fit in. Um, I actually have two of this little uh, game trail vehicle, so I will be taking those out to a field hopefully soon and doing some photography. Um, so yeah, no, this is uh, it for my Hammond Collection and Legacy Collection mainline uh, Lost World figure comparison, but I will be comparing the Mymenchi source to the original Kenner figures in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.